What should particularly concern us now is how these agencies, entities, and public-private partnerships plan to manufacture consent for their policies. Well, in January of this year, Jeremy Jurgens, number two at the WEF after Klaus Schwab, asserted that a, quote, catastrophic mutating event will strike the world in two years. So what is this catastrophic mutating event that will strike the world before 2025? In this video presentation by writer, researcher, and independent journalist Whitney Webb, she intimates us on the incoming global crisis being orchestrated by some of the world's major players, particularly the World Economic Forum, WEF. She explains that we're at a time where the leaders of the WEF and its member organizations have made Bitcoin financial privacy, or really any type of privacy, their enemy and are working on herding us towards central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. The method of choice to actuate this change, a global catastrophe on the scale of nine she says. She explains that Klaus Schwab and everyone else at WEF understands how difficult it will be to get people to willingly pass on their rights to privacy unless there is a catastrophic event similar in scale to nine that makes such a compromise seem logical. She believes that these organizations are in the process of planning such an event, an eventuality she calls a cyber nine that will, more importantly, be followed by a cyber patriot act that will essentially destroy financial privacy. Let's jump right in. What should particularly concern us now is how these agencies, entities, and public-private partnerships plan to manufacture consent for their policies. As things stand right now, a lot of the policies dreamt up by these groups that I've just described, I would hope, would be rejected by the vast majority of Americans. That is, of course, unless the right crisis were to come along and suddenly make most Americans extremely concerned and fearful of cybercrime. While warnings of a so-called cyber pandemic floated around in 2021 as a series of high profile and highly publicized ransomware attacks took place, we haven't heard as much since. But now with the last global crisis, COVID-19 officially over, according to the US government and the World Health Organization, some are raising the alarm that a new global crisis is soon to make a dramatic appearance. Given what I've been saying, let's check in with the World Economic Forum and see what they think the next global crisis will be. Well, in January of this year, Jeremy Jurgens, number two at the WEF after Klaus Schwab, asserted that a, quote, catastrophic mutating event will strike the world in two years. What a confident prediction. So what is this catastrophic mutating event that will strike the world before 2025? If you guessed a, quote, global catastrophic cyber event, you win. Jurgens and Stock's comments about a catastrophic cyber attack before 2025 spawned hysterical mainstream media headlines warning of cyber apocalypse 2023. That same month, Newsweek's print edition featured an ominous hacker on the cover with the words hack attack, how cyber criminals outwit all efforts to stop them. Many of the experts quoted in the Hack Attack article work for companies that are WEFPAC members. In recent years, there has been much talk about a doomsday cyber attack, and now it seems top people at the WEF and WEFPAC feel confident enough to put a relatively short timeline on it. How bad will this attack be if and when it materializes? Considering that the current head of the Department of Homeland Security has claimed that the next cyber attack will kill many people, it seems that a cyber nine could be waiting in the wings, which of course would be followed shortly thereafter by a Cyber Patriot Act or something very similar. If Bitcoin is blamed for motivating or funding the cyber criminals deemed responsible for such a catastrophe, what will happen to public opinion and what type of legislation might we see rammed through Congress? Given what I've described today, the WEF and its allies, including several US government agencies, need a couple of things to come to the forefront of the public mind before they can offer their dystopian solutions that they already have on the books. So far, Whitney has explained how the WEF and its subsidiaries plan to inconspicuously float policies that will eventually lead to the demise of Bitcoin and financial privacy. 
She's even explained that we might be less than one year away from the crisis, as the WEF spokesman predicted that the doomsday event will occur before 2025. Let's head back in as she provides more insight around the Silicon Valley bank collapse and how it relates to the imminent collapse. In order to fuse banks, regulators, and the national security state to end fragmentation in the global financial system, global financial instability must first become a major global concern. With everything that has been taking place since the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, it seems we may not be too far away from global financial instability becoming a top concern for the average person. The other thing they need to happen is for the average person to become incredibly fearful of financial privacy and online privacy to the point that they will willingly trade their privacy for greater security, or rather what will be sold as greater security. Bitcoin, privacy-minded crypto, and privacy-preserving technologies like encryption must become public enemy number one in order for the offered solution, a completely surveilled internet, a completely surveilled financial system, to be accepted by the masses. The fight over the control of the cryptocurrency space is part of the larger war being fought over the future of our society, our country, and the world. Will we sleepwalk into a world of CBDCs where intelligence agencies, central banks, and commercial banks have fused into the same Orwellian entity? Or holding terror-linked Bitcoin or using encryption or mixers makes you a cyber criminal? Or will we fight the groups and institutions that have looted American wealth for well over a century and demand a return to the Constitution and the right to privacy, not just financially, but in all senses? Those that wish to force us into the former scenario clearly and unequivocally see Bitcoin, as well as privacy-enhancing technology, as a direct threat to their power and their plans, and there has never been a more important time to choose a side. In this video, Whitney Webb has revealed that a global-scale doomsday event orchestrated by pro-unilateral government organizations, specifically WEF, might be much realer and closer than anyone could have anticipated. The end goal of such an event is to provide a reason to completely destroy all forms of financial privacy and mandate the use of easily surveilled and controlled CBDCs. These CBDCs will ensure complete state control over the financial system and, essentially, human life. Whitney's revelations are unique compared to other industry experts who believe the government's approach to pushing CBDCs will be through the debasement of current fiat. Whitney believes the push for the transition will be much more aggressive and disruptive, and the information she's provided is crucial for us to be prepared for such an eventuality. As she's explained, it has never been more important to pick a side than now. What do you think about Whitney's doomsday predictions? To see the latest in crypto news, watch this video here.